here goes the record. There goes the encoder. And you're good. All right. We are live with Terry and Gary's Low Expectations podcast. Uh, well, three of us are live and one of us is kind of a walking dead live. I'm dying to love that. Who do we got today, Terry? Nate Bach and Chinstrap, the game changers. Hot new tag team out here. You know, uh, chin strap. We'll probably be doing most of the talking. <laughs> it looks that. As Nate, always. Uh, Nate's over there in uh, Arizona, I think, California. So, Nate, can you hear us? All right. A uh, little bit. <laughs> you're you're going to have to do a lot of the talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, uh, how, how did you get started with wrestling? And, uh, and how did you and uh, Nate team up? Oh, uh, so so we go to Can-Am. Um, obviously, um, you know about Can-Am. You're trained there as well. Um, through Scott Demore and Nate uh, joined the school. And I don't know, just bromance ever since. And <laughs> <laughs> so we started training together and everything. And then um, we realized that there's not a lot of tag teams right now. Like, a lot of tag teams are put together, whether than – you know, rather than traveling together and actually being a tag team, such as, you know, like Edge and Christian used to do. So right. we thought uh, we'd go that route. Right. Now, um, you guys kind of, it was organic how you guys came together and how you guys meshed. And uh, Nate being from California, you know, and uh, he's got more of the uh, um, the thuggish side of the, the tag team. You're more of the hip hop, you know. Uh, I like to say Vanilla Ice in a good way and MC Hammer. You know, and uh, you guys actually work really well together, not only as, uh, you know, hitting the moves and stuff like that, but the charisma. And, and you know, I think what he, he might lack, you pick up, and what you might lack, he picks up, and that makes for a successful tag team. Yeah, for sure. It was like uh, Down River Boy meets the Bay Area. And, uh... Right, right. <laughs> it's kind of like Gary and I. We mesh well together, right, Gary? Well, yeah. he might not agree. Yeah. <laughs> So, I do that together. Yeah, yeah, but Gary is from Monroe here too, but you know Michigan. But he likes to vacation out in California, <laughs> quite a bit. So, but anyways, now what's uh, what's some of the like? What are some of the matches you guys had together? And then um, uh, Nate is actually living here in Michigan. He trained at uh, Can Am, and he actually lives across the street from me. So he's been uh, coming along really well. The internet service, we need to help him out on that. It looks he, like a bogey. He just like, yeah, he uh, definitely hits the gym and he's pretty intense with all that stuff. So he's definitely, uh, you know, you guys are both uh, quite the ladies' men when you guys go out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go out and hit the hit the strip like the real tag teams of back in the day. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's how you have to do it. You know, you got to be a superstar in and out of the ring. <laughs> right. Gary, I'll, I'll be honest with you. They took me out one night. I, I, I can't hang anymore, man. You're an old man. <laughs> right. Right. I definitely did feel old. <laughs> Speaking of old, I get a night at the Roxbury fill for these guys, you know? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. There you go. <laughs> Come on, Nate. Join it. Come on, Nate. <laughs> Come on. Nate's doing it accidentally. <laughs> I don't know if he, yeah, right. I don't know if he can hear it. He'll hear it in a couple of minutes. Right, right. What are some of the goals that you guys have as a tag team? And um, obviously, when you're when he's out there, you're doing some singles matches. And yeah. then, uh, you know, obviously with the COVID uh, going on, there's been a couple outdoor shows. I know you participated in. Everybody was social distancing and all that stuff. What uh, like, how do you feel when you uh, wrestle as a singles? And when you tag? Um, well, first of all, COVID-19 is nothing but a game changer. That's for sure. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, singles, um, I always wanted to do singles until Nate and I decided on the tag team. I think tag team is more fun. I think there's a lot more crowd interaction um, with tag teams. And uh, with singles, though, like by doing these singles matches, I'm just getting very confident. The more I get out there, the more confident I get. And uh, – I think both of us, the more work you put in, the more confident you get. So right. but as far as goals go, um, you know, I want the whole nine yards. We want to be the tag team that people want to work with. 
We right. want to be the tag team that people want to see and people want to book and uh, people right. trust. So, right. And, and you guys get that too, you know, it's business behind the scenes, you know, and it's business out in the ring. So you're in it to make a, um, you know, make money, draw money. And I think it would be a good addition to impact, you know, down the road. Um, you know, so I, I really enjoy the, the, the ring persona that you guys put out and put forward out there. So Gary, do you have any questions for, uh, um, well, chin strap? Chin strap yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah, who is your uh, who you look up to model yourselves as? Is there, is there a tag team out there right now that you guys really emulate, or is it something that you just uh, different ones? Or There's a bunch of different ones that we really like. Like, I'm a big I'm a big New Age Outlaws fan. I like the Billy Gunn Road Dog, how they're, like, kind of opposites, but they meshed well together. Right. Um, I also really like the Man Beast and, and that family man with kids. I really like that tag team, too. <laughs> But uh, as far as working for Impact, I mean, that, that's really the ultimate goal. Um, but right. hopefully Scott DeMore has uh, the opposite of you guys. Hopefully he has high expectations of us. Yeah. And one day it'll happen. <laughs> right, right. Definitely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we have expectations then, Nate. He's popping over there. He's popping in Arizona. <laughs> Nate, Nate, we got you. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, Nate has a dog. Uh, He's, uh, blue. Um, Blue is actually uh, the unofficial mascot of Big Daddy's Boatyard. Blue is um, uh, oh, there she is. There's Blue. Blue is actually a pit bull. Blue is the coolest dog. I like Blue more than I like some humans. Gary, I won't say whether or not I like Blue more than I like you. But... I know where I rate. Right, right. I miss you, Blue. Blue is awesome. Blue will chase the, the ball. And she'll jump in the water after the ball, you know, until, uh, yeah, until I'm blue in the face. <laughs> but, um, so, all right, let's get down to the nitty and gritty. I heard you're a numbers guy when you're at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people want to know. <laughs> Look at that. I popped Nate on that one. <laughs> How did that hey. come about? You got, you got to change the game, you know. That, that's how the chin strap Jesus thing came about. Was, okay. You know, I would make the girls pop saying, I'm going to go right. home and chin strap Jesus, you know, and then right. here we are. So. Well, um, Gary, I don't know. Are you still single or are you dating? Did someone lock you down? Pretty much. Oh, you're locked down now? Okay. So <laughs> Nate just disappeared. Um, but uh, it was funny because they were going out and they were both single, Gary, and, and uh, Nate's dad was in town. And he went out with those guys, a little corner bar, and he, he, told, uh, he told me, he's like, yeah, chin strap's a numbers guy. <laughs> 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 yeah, which was kind of funny because I, I, I haven't heard that in a long time, you know, so. He but thought I was, I was an accountant. <laughs> what he thought I was an accountant or something when he said right, that. Right. <laughs> Like, what? I thought he worked for GM. <laughs> now, actually, yeah, <laughs> you do work for GM, right? Uh, Chrysler, but yeah. yeah. Oh, Chrysler. Now, uh, how is it working for the big three? And uh, as far as, have you went back to work? And how's that, the COVID? Um, I've been back to work, yes. Uh, wearing the Are mask is rough. It's, it's hot. You know, you're getting yeah. 90 degree days. But, um, yeah, I mean, I like the money, right? So I want to wrestle. Yeah. So I'll be back in there. But um, not ideal at all. Um, but if you want to make the state of Michigan run, you got to have the big three open. So right, right, and plus Chrysler, they make some good cars. And Gary, he works for Fords. He's been with Fords for how long, Gary? Twenty-five years. Twenty-five wow. years. Uh, is there a little bit of heat between you guys? You know, like if yeah, I he's got he's got a pension, and I don't. There's yeah. the heat right there. <laughs> Now, are we going to see a little match down the road between, you know, Gary representing Ford and you representing Chrysler, you know? I mean, get get you guys out there. I'll be in your corner, Gary. Oh, okay, then, yeah. All right, give me Darren McCarty in my corner, and it's a match. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Darren's coming at the bit to get back, so. G give me the real game changer. <laughs> right, right. You give me a deal on a car, I might turn my back on Gary. <laughs> I don't know if you get that A plan or whatever over there at Chrysler, but yeah. So uh, a guy, a guy with a Hummer is asking me to get him a deal right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 2005 Hummer and it's got 250,000 miles on there. And, and a brand new boat yard too. Brand new <laughs> boat yard and a Hummer. He wants, he wants an A plan deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on. There oh. he is. 
Big Nate. Hey, yeah, Big man. Nate, do a double bicep pose for us. Hit it up. There it is. Oh, man. <laughs> boy, Nate. We I'm sick of these toy boys calling me a cruiserweight. <laughs> so, a goddamn thick boy. <laughs> yeah, he's been out there putting on some size. Nate, he sent me a picture. And uh, he put on, what, 20 pounds? You've been training yeah. like a madman out there. Yeah. He's making, he's making us all, yeah, he's making us all look bad. Oh, look at that Game new danger. shirt. <laughs> That's mm. a cool shirt, too. It is he, cool. Sent me, he sent me the logo. I'm not going to lie, Gary. This is what veterans do. He sent me the logo. He goes, what do you think? I, I go, I don't like it. And then I tried to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how it works. Right, right. Veterans go, no, no, don't use that. Next thing you know, you see it on their trunks. Yeah. So. Now, Nate, um, how long have you been in uh, Michigan, and what, why did you decide to come up here and train? Um, I've been in Michigan for about two years, um, okay. going on two years in September. And uh, honestly, I was going to go train at uh, Lance Storm School. I wanted to go to Canada. I've always liked the Canadian style. Um, I was going to go to Lance Storm School, and then I guess he had too many people going in, and I was like, man, I'm 24. I'm not getting any younger. So uh, I was looking at other Canadian schools, and then I saw you went to Can-Am, and I was like, yeah, I grew up watching that dude. So yeah. here I am. <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story, Gary. You'll love this one. So Nate's over here. You don't know anybody. He's helping me on the docks and we have to pull these posts and he's, you know, we're talking about wrestling. I'm giving him an education and uh, he's telling me how, uh, you know, I, I tagged with this person, wrestled that person and uh, you know, how he went to uh, what's the arena out in San Jose. Uh, HP pavilion. Yeah. And uh, I've had a lot of great matches out there. A lot of fun work in that building. Crowd's always great. And uh, he goes, yeah, I seen you wrestle there. And I'm like, oh, cool, cool, when I wrestled for SmackDown back in the day. And uh, this is probably, what, early 2000s. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, I'm down there taking bolts out of these posts, right? And he's behind me, and I look back, and <laughs> I'm on all fours. And I go, yeah, watching me when you were a kid, did you ever think you'd be helping me at my marina <laughs> looking at me like this, right? And it was totally <laughs> It was totally crazy, right? And he just starts laughing. He goes, I I never thought in a million years. <laughs> I go, there's a and yes, I did think that. <laughs> right, right. I go, there's a mental picture you'll never get out of your head. <laughs> he sat in my back seat one time too, and he he said, uh, it's like, did you ever think Rhino would be riding bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and then Here's another time, right? Uh, we were actually wrestling together in Canada, mm. and you were on a team. Uh, it was a six-man tag, and this was uh, right before – this was, I think, January of this year. And I I, I, uh, I, I said it to mess with him. He was going to take my finish, and I look over it right before we go out. I go, did you ever think you'd take my finish? You're welcome, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you guys fight not too long ago? What's that? Didn't you fight not too long ago in the ring? Did we? Maybe. Yeah, a couple months ago. A couple yeah. months ago, yeah. Yeah, for the tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, yeah, how, how was that, Nate? He laid it in. Uh, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, I got out of there before I got gored. So, you know, all my ribs are intact, you know? <laughs> right. No, but, uh, yeah, he, he had to lay it in. And, you know, he laid it in a couple times, you know, and I, I gave him a good shot. <laughs> but then he bit me. I was like, you can't bite. There's no biting in wrestling. Hey, <laughs> Nate wouldn't do that. Nate wouldn't do I that. Know. I know. Hey, now let's – let's. No is Nate – now Nate says he's not a numbers guy. Is Nate a numbers guy, chin strap? You can tell me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say – I'd say <laughs> being, being a fellow game changer, I don't like – I don't like putting Nate on blast. But Nate <laughs> – <laughs> A girl better bring her A game if they want to be with Nate. They better be in the gym. They better be taking care of themselves. Any little flaw, they're gone. That's how Nate operates. This doesn't just happen. This doesn't just happen. <laughs> it doesn't. It does. She could breathe the wrong way. She's out the door. <laughs> right. Right. We'll see ya. <laughs> we'll see ya. Yeah, I tried to put a little riff in between them, but they're not falling for it. You guys are more experienced than what I thought you were. 
So, uh, what, what's with that Raiders hat? This one? Yeah, that one. This is the best team in the nation. Hop on the bandwagon while you can. <laughs> while there's room, huh? Mm-hmm. That was enough room for any Lions fan to get on the bandwagon. That's yeah. true. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, Gary, did you rock the Raiders gear when you were a kid? No. Be honest. You no. didn't? No. I, I That's why Gary it. wasn't a game changer. That's right. <laughs> Gary, I'm not a game changer. It's hard I'm to be this, a game changer. That's why I'm on this really? podcast. And let's let's talk about how uh, uh, you guys came up with the name. Oh yeah, that was uh, organic too. I was cutting a promo for um, UCW up there, Bay City, for uh, Johnny Bravo and Brooklyn Brawler. And uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess I said it. Didn't realize I said it. And Nate was like, "What did you just call us? Game changers?" I'm like, "Did I?" He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "All right, I guess that's their name." And that's yeah. just stuck. Yeah. And then your name for your finish is game over which is game a great right. name for a finish. You know, I don't oh, think – Slam. What's that? West Coast Slam? There you go. You got a couple slam. of them. So, <laughs> see, we're, we're just spitting it out here, man. You know, mm-hmm. we're coming up with a I, – I just came up with that before we went live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's game over now, Nate. Just so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you know. <laughs> game over, you West Coast Slam. Yeah. So, now uh, – Potato, guys... potato, right? What's that? Potato, tomato. Right, right. Hey, when you coming back, Nate? I need some help on stuff. Uh, yeah, about that. Let me check my schedule here. <laughs> yeah, your, your tag team partner needs you too. I need him. Right. Doing all the right. shows without him. Where's he at? Yeah. Right. Now, now see what I, I'm I selling you. merch. I'm selling merchandise, but there's no other game changer there. <laughs> just take, just take that me. S off. He, he's holding it down. <laughs> Now, um, uh, Gary, do you have any other questions before I continue? Oh no, good continue. You're doing you're doing a great job. No, Gary, I want you more. I want you part of this tag team. We got to come up with a tag team name. Gary. We should. We should. Hey, what do you think it should be? Chin strap, Nate. <laughs> Definitely not. The, come on. Low expectations. <laughs> right. <laughs> According to Darren McCarty, that's me. I bring the low expectations, so we got to have something for. Right. Hey, now, what do you guys do? Um, uh, you know, a couple questions I had for you guys. What do you guys do in like your free time other than, you know, doing uh, the numbers game and, you know, <laughs> Nate judging people? <laughs> Nate, you want to answer that? Uh, he just works well, out. I, I, works out. Hangs work out with his dog. <laughs> yeah, work out, hang out with my dog. Um, I go hiking. You can't do that in Michigan. But you could do it here on the West Coast because we actually have mountains. So, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like to, uh, I like to hang out with friends, bonfires. I'm a drinker, so drink. Uh, right. Watch wrestling. I mean, wrestling is what I love. So it's right. when I watch right. it by watching TV. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed. Like when we went over your house, you you watch it and you study it, you know. And that was I was very impressed. Um, Nate also does the same thing. Um, you know, when you're early in your career, you have to study and study and study. And it's good to keep um, up to date on the uh, product that's out there, whether it's Impact, whether it's WWE or AEW, because they might be doing something that um, that is really getting over and you can, uh, you know, um, learn from it and get it over, you know, with uh, the company you work for. So what do you, uh, what do you, we see, what are you, what can the fans expect to see out of you guys in the future? When wrestling, can, back when wrestling back picks back up, they can expect to see us everywhere. Um, we're going to take bookings everywhere. We need to be on the road. We need to be at all shows and constantly working because we're not going to get better sitting at home watching it completely. Like, you get better watching it as well as performing it, like seeing what works. And like like you right. said, like when when I grew up, it was the Attitude Era when you guys were going heavy at ECW, and then there's the Monday Night Wars with WCW, and now it's kind of um, brought back full circle with with Impact, right. WWE, AEW. There's a lot of product out there now too, so there's a lot of different avenues. But you got to get out in front of the fans, you know, so they right. know who you are, so they get behind you. Right. Hey, and uh, uh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, Gary. Well, I was saying you guys are talking about, uh, you know. Speaking of getting over and stuff, what do you guys think about Orange Cassidy? I'm just curious. And his I'm, like, I'm a huge Orange Cassidy. Yeah, I, I am too. I, I am that, that 
that match with Jericho this couple of days ago, that was that was pretty phenomenal. I'm really impressed with him. I, I love those little leg leg kicks. You know, yeah. I wish yeah. I'd have thought of all that. Yeah, I know, right? All right, Nate, what do you think? I think he's sweet. I think it's yeah. it's totally different. That's oh, a game changer right there. Game changer. That's a game changer. Now, now, what does it take for someone to become a game changer? Not not everybody can be a game changer. <laughs> you have to ask. To, it's a lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Um, things on your own terms. So, in right. that aspect, you're eligible. But you know, there's other factors. You right. gotta be, keep coming out with us, Ryan. Oh, then you know. Oh, I, I am. That. I am. When these bars reopen in a safe manner, I'm out with you guys. So Hey, all those drinks you got bought for us, too? That's right. a game changer, baby. Uh, game changer move. <laughs> yeah, you know what was cool is people were like, hey, Rhino, let me buy a drink. And uh, you never let the boys hang, uh, Gary. You know, that, that's one of the things. You always look out after the boys. When I say boys, whether it's a, a female wrestler or a male wrestler, right? So you always take care of the boys. And – uh you know, people are like, hey, let me buy you a drink. And I'd go, I don't drink, but my buddies, they drink. Grab them a drink. And they would. <laughs> so, hey, you never let a free drink go by. And then when right? they're ordering a drink, they're like, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. It's like, by the way, give me a bottle of water, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seven, seven drinks later in a hangover, we debuted the next day. Right. <laughs> and, we did. We did. We did. I forgot about that. And I was very <laughs> hydrated. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, you guys got to come down. We got to go out on the boat when Nate gets back. And then, yeah, so change the game out on the water. Yeah. Hopefully in a good way, you know. You got to so. go to, uh, was that Putin Bay? Putin Bay, yeah. Yeah, Putin Bay, yeah. Okay. So. Where, can we, uh, where can we find you guys at? What are you guys at on social media and stuff? I am on Instagram at Kyle Barrett 123 because, you know, we get wins. One, two, three is what the ref counts. Uh, <laughs> so, and then uh, Kyle Barrett on Facebook. Nate Bach. I'm, I'm uh, Nate Bach seven and uh, Nate Bach on uh, Facebook. So one, one through six were taken already, or? Uh, you know, seven was my number in baseball. Oh, okay, All right, cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Nate, before we get out of here, tell us a little bit about your baseball past. So you guys are uh, both athletes. So honestly, in high school, I wasn't I wasn't anything to brag about, right? So I go in uh, to junior college because I still want to continue playing, and um, I went and I played for this school, and this this school was trash, and they ended up cutting me, and it put a pretty big chip on my shoulder. So I ended up training, and I was. I, I'd be hitting seven, eight hours a day. You know, I was doing all this weird stuff to get my coordination better. I was going to all these facilities and I ended up getting a scholarship not too far later. And uh, I played four years uh, down in the South. So cool. Yeah. Now uh, I'm, I'm trying to get them over to the, uh, uh, you know, to the good side and, and make them a Tigers fan, Gary, but yeah. I, haven't, I haven't been successful yet. He's a. Who does he like? Uh, he Oakland likes A's. Oakland A's. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah. I was gonna say Kansas City. <laughs> I knew he liked Oakland. I knew he liked the A's because he commented on one of my cards I posted that uh, Oakland A's card, that Ricky Henderson card I posted. So I knew. He was, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that was sweet. Yeah, no one likes All Kansas or... City. Not even Kansas City likes Kansas City. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Nate, I want to say that I'm very proud of you getting our scholarship. I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. See, Gary, there's a bond here that can't be broken there, Rhino. It's I know, I know. And uh, you guys will be traveling with me quite a bit, you know, when, uh, sh when this uh, COVID stuff lifts. And, you know, because you guys are not too – well, Nate lives across the street. And, um, you know, you're only in Wyandotte, so you're not too far. So we went up to Bay City together. That was a fun road trip. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be getting out on the road too. And uh, – you know, looking forward to because like Vince McMahon said, he goes, you learn the business in the car. You know, you talk about what happened that night. You talk about what worked, what didn't work, what how, what you can try, what you can take and all that stuff. You know, so I'm actually looking forward to getting out there on the road with you guys, too. So, so now I know why you always give me shit for when I'm sleeping, huh? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, weren't you sleeping in the car on the, the one road trip? Oh, we were, we were razzing them, too. 
<laughs> we want to have a nice dance, dance party in sleep. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this guy back in the back sleeping. <laughs> we actually went to Pittsburgh and uh, not Pittsburgh, but we went to um, it was outside of Pittsburgh. Nate and I, we, we, we brought Blue. Yeah, so Blue was a big hit. Next time I'm going to start selling eight by tens with her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want a you want a picture on your phone with blue? It's gonna cost you twenty bucks. <laughs> oh, probably bull on a rhino. <laughs> right, right, right. So, hey Nate, who, who's your favorite wrestler, Nate? You can't say rhino. Uh, well, so like I grew up in that ruthless aggression era, so I started watching uh, wrestling around two thousand two, two thousand three. So, uh, you know, I really like Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero. Um, Homeboy on the screen right there, and uh, yeah, that was that was kind of my era. About you, Jim Strap. Um, all time, I'm a fan of like the big characters. I really like Austin, uh, Warrior, Taker. Um, but as far as other guys, I, I have a lot of random say. Like I was a big X Pac fan growing up. Uh, Devo Brown, and right now currently AJ Styles. But my favorite's probably Nate Box. <laughs> good choice good choice uh, well you can always learn from nate so right my my favorite is uh you gary if you were a wrestler if i was a wrestler i'd be an awesome wrestler right right by the way can i borrow 50 bucks i need to put some gas in that h2 gear come on over <laughs> see you gotta butter them up before you throw yeah. it in. <laughs> game changer so. move right there Right, right. See, there you go. Maybe there is hope for me after after all. We'll get so. you an application. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Gary, can yeah. you get a $50 for the application? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, now you guys got your new merchandise before we get off here. Um, now, you guys will be selling that at the shows? Yeah. Okay. And what sizes do you have? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, through right. XXL, so. Okay, cool, cool. I might take a double X or a triple, depending on how they fit. Uh, you so. keep slimming up. You won't need that double X. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm down uh, to 285. So, yeah. Watch out. Right. Game changer, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to try to get down to 250. So. Yeah. Gary, would you still love me at 250? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get down to 250, you're going to start becoming a numbers guy. You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? You know, it gets lonely over here at the marina. You know? <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, thanks for coming on. Greatly appreciate it. Um, is there good. anything you want in closing? No, I just want to tell Nate, thanks for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, we'll, we'll have you guys back on the show. We'll definitely, oh, yeah. um, you know, our show was canceled on the 16th, unfortunately. Um, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll bring a different show. And uh, definitely you guys are going to be on all the shows. So they can catch you in the Midwest and in Michigan and all around the Midwest. So no, I appreciate it. Thanks are. for having us, guys. Anytime. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys uh, make sure you guys check out the podcast on Facebook page, uh, YouTube channel, Terry and Gary TV. It'll be uploaded to uh, YouTube soon and iTunes. So uh, catch us. Awesome. Appreciate you guys' time. There it is. Yeah, look it up. Big Nate. There you go, Gary. Hey, chin strap. Let's do the double bicep. Let's see it, chin strap. Uh, hey, I, I have my phone messed up. <laughs> oh, okay. You get one bicep. <laughs> there it is. All right, All right guys. All right, boys. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Game changers. Game changers.